All right, let's go ahead and get into today's video. This is TNY 101. What are your red flags? Let's go ahead and get into today's public questions. Public interview with TNY 101. You off the bat. Eggs in a woman. I want him to be soft. Not to lay back for real. Art to be capable, to be able to do things on their own, to think for themselves. Huh? Bro, if she Jamaican, bro, run. If she Jamaican, no, like run, bro. All girls red flags. Oh. All girls. My biggest red flag is niggas that act funny in front of their friends. You and my messages acting like you want to be booed up, but then in yeah, front of your friends, fine. you future. And I get to come. If they wear oh, Crocs. No, what the hell? <laughs> if they wear Crocs, bro. Yeah. When they don't have like any goals or ambitions. You got goals and ambitions? Yes. She kind of bad though. She kind of uh. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I, my bad, y'all. I had the camera off. My bad, y'all. Hold on. I gotta make sure. Am I tripping? Did I have the camera off for my last video? Because I'm gonna be hella mad if I do. Y'all already know. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, I did. I did. Okay. Back to the video. Dang, she bad. I ain't gonna hold you. She uh, <laughs> just my type. <laughs> Let me make sure the camera on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping today. All right, but <laughs> she's just my type. What you talking about? So you be about your money just, too? Just right. <laughs> it's not like we got something in common. Really? Yeah, it's not like we got something in common. You loyal too? Yeah, I'm loyal. All right, let me get your number then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big W, nigga. Ka, ka, ka. That's like, my, 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 my boy, 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 my Hey man, C Y one on one here. I'm with Amber. What's your biggest red flag? I'd say when they lie to you about where they are, or like they're not upfront with you about where they are, and you find out later that they were being not truthful. Ooh. That'd be, that'd be tough. It's very easy to catch a guy in a lie. Oh really? <laughs> Today I'm here with Omar Bellman. I bet. So like, what's like your biggest red? Flag. I'm gonna say the bitches with the Nissan Sentras, they be wilding out fucking crazy. Ooh, they be, they be uh, whiffing it. Honestly, all girls, yo. All girls red flags. Oh, all girls? Bad. Yeah. What's a red flag that you had with a girl before? There was this one virgin, yo. She didn't know what she was doing. I was ass. Crap. So your red flag is also her being a virgin? Nah, nah. Yeah. If you're just trying to fuck. If I, yeah, I'm just trying to fuck. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. So today I'm here with Wes. All right, my boy Wes for me. Uh, good luck, man. So, question of the day is, right, what's one red flag that you see in a girl? You know, when she's always posting that niggas ain't shit and subbing niggas. Like, when you go on social media today, like, that's all you see. It's just not it. So, I feel like that's a red flag. Yeah. On me, man. On me. Why do that? Yeah, you know, why like, do that? Yeah. It's, like, it's kind of pointless. Not, not all niggas are like that. You know what I'm saying? Not like, all niggas. It's just the niggas that they... Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, females. Yeah, girls do be bugging when they be saying that type of stuff. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't be seeing us doing that. That's right, that's true, though. Only like a little bit of us, but them niggas is heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> like, them niggas is down bad. For real. Them niggas is down bad. What's up, guys? Team Y101 here. I'm here with Koi. Question I got for you today is, right, what's one red flag? Had you seen a girl, man? If she she hangs out with too many single girls, for me. Like, mm. she, like, just, like, just all her friends are single. Fuck that. They party and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. She parties in. That's a red flag, yeah, right? That's a red. That's crazy. Well, let's be honest, bro. The guys be there, and they they know what they want to do. Trying to go crazy. Okay. See, I'm not trying to go no girl serious. That. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All right, man. Today I'm here with Nathan. You in it too? Yeah, we got the Vario out here. Question of the day is right. What's your biggest red flag in a girl, man? Bro, if she Jamaican, bro, run. If she Jamaican, no, like run, bro. Bro, what's What's up with these Jamaicans, bro? Like Jamaican shorty will cook you food, you know what I'm saying? She'll make sure you right, put you to bed right, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this she gonna make sure you sleep all right. She gonna elbow your shit in. Why you'll take her yo? And we got left hand with the sweet chin music. 
<laughs> it's a little argument oh, right now. Uh, bro, no, bro. Them Jamaicans, bro. Like, bro, they, they're, bro, they're bad, bro. Like, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. run. Like, do not fuck with Jamaicans, bro. Like, they're crazy, bro. Like, they will fuck with your brain, like, your money. Like, run, bro. Like, if you can't handle a Jamaican female, just don't fuck with a Jamaican female. You know what I'm saying? See, me on the other I can handle a Jamaican female. I love them. You know what I'm saying? They cook me that oxtail and rice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That fucking Aki and Saltfish get me right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know you're right. I mean, you had to know. That, that's the definition of another man's trash. Is another man's treasure. Let me not get too loud. I got family in the room. Not in the room, but you know, next. In the room next to me. You know, how they say. Oh, this hat, nigga. Like, you know, you know, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 You playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. I'm here with. Be like Rennie. So today's question is, yo, what's your biggest red flag? Uh, <clears throat> set it off, comrades. Let's get it. My biggest red flag is niggas that act funny in front of their friends. Oh, they be on, they be a whole different nigga, yeah, right? Yeah, like you and my messages acting like you want to be booed up, but then in yeah, front of your friends, bro. you future, like stay down. And I get too comfortable. Future is crazy. Yeah, bro. Like, type shit. Like, bro, why they be acting toxic and shit? Yeah, like, two face and BNF, shit. BNF, BNF. That's BNF. just sick. That hey, man, I'm in the building today. I'm here with Taylor. Taylor. All right, so today, right? I'm about to be asking you, right? What's the red flag that you see in a guy? I would say, like, acting different when he's around his guy friends rather than when he's with you. Name an experience where you had, you know, saying a guy do that. I would say with my ex, probably. Like, around me, he'd be, like, super chill and nice, and with his guys, he'd be, like, total dick. Oh, that nigga's an L, bro. That nigga's a fucking L, bro. Nah, you can't do that, bro. If you hang out with this nigga, cut him out your friend group right now. That's not a real friend. What's up, guys? See my one-on-one -on -one here today. I'm here with... Sammy. Sammy. Hold this real quick. Just yeah, right there. <laughs> All right, so what's your biggest red flag in a girl, man? Um, dry ass texters, bro. Bitches that don't know the vibe. If you know you're not all that, you feel me? Your, your shit fat. What, what, what do I want to do? Cuddle? Watch movies? You're bugging. <laughs> you're bugging. <laughs> Especially when you know they ain't got nothing going on for real. You know for a fact that she's just doing that just to do it, you know? And be the treasures too. Or they be occupied though. I give him that. I give him that. I give him that. I know he be he he be he, he, he telling the truth. He preaching to the choir though, cause them girls that be dry textures and don't be doing all this stuff, like bruh. What what we really doing? You don't game, you don't like anime, you barely like to eat. Sally ass girl. <laughs> What we gonna do? You don't like to go out, you're a homebody. What we gonna do? What we gonna really do? Give me that block, block, 3,000. That's what we gonna do. That's all we want. Damn. Hey, what's your IG, man? Um, Sammy22, and it's like an underscore between the last M and the Y. Y'all go follow, no cap. All right, man, I'm going to cut with... Mia. Mia, you know what I'm saying? She said he went, Mia, you know what I'm saying? You thought you ate? <laughs> hey, what's, the hey. Biggest, what's your biggest red flag in the guy for me? Um, if they wear Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> where, where <are> you? <laughs> if they wear Crocs, bro? Yeah. No, but for real, if they don't treat you right, that's the number one red flag, besides Crocs. Ooh. What's up with the Crocs, though? Like, yo, like what, well, what's I, up? I feel like she wear Crocs when she get home, so what is she talking about? They just don't look right. They don't look they don't right. good on anyone. I'm sorry. I'm standing by it. They don't look good on anyone. I'm not going to lie. I never wore Crocs in my life. If, like, I'm being dead ass. That's it, though. Like, nothing else. If he got, if he gets jealous of you, if he's controlling you, if he doesn't let you wear whatever the hell you want, you should be able to wear whatever the hell you want. If he yells at you for nothing. I think I wore Crocs once, but that was to work, though. I don't wear no Crocs in public, like, when I'm going out to, you know, just do stuff, run errands and stuff, or just enjoy life activities and all that other extra stuff i ain't just out in the cut in no club and no crocs that's just a no-go that's called only thing you getting wet with some crocs is the flow my boy because you ain't you finna mop it after um everybody else get um busy and down on the dance floor while you um sitting there in the cut um 
in your croc socks. <laughs> yeah, the crocs and everything else. That's what I'm standing by. You look like she don't like the crocs. <laughs> it's like she just doesn't fuck with crocs for real. I'm in the building today. I'm with uh, Giselle. Giselle, I bet. So today I'm about to ask you, right? What's a red flag for you and a guy? For me, when they're like very controlling. So like when they be telling me like, oh, you can't wear that or like, you know, like change your clothes. She got the damn Peter Griffin. She got the Please, please. Like you're not going out with that, like I don't like that. So like basically like when you wearing something that you want to wear and then he just like cut that shit off. Yeah. What's another red flag? When they don't have like any goals or ambitions like for their future and stuff like that. Cause like, you know, where is that? How is that going to benefit me too? You know, like I can't be the only one like doing like all the work and shit. You know? Guys, if you don't got goals and ambitions, that's a problem. Because it's like, what are you really doing in life? You feel me? If you don't got no goals and ambitions, like, what are you really doing? You feel me? You just sitting around waiting for some money to fall out the sky. Like, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got goals and ambitions? Yeah, I do. I want to become a dermatology PA. So you be about your money too? Mm-hmm. It's not like we got something in common. Really? Yeah, it's not like we got something in common. You loyal too? Yeah, I'm loyal. Right, let me get your number then. <laughs> Damn, I'm here with Tyler, Sam, Sam. All right, bet. So the question for today is right. What are y'all red flags, girl? You know, I just had this laying around. Damn, bro. So like, she got like over three mil on Snap. That's crazy. That's a red flag. Where she belong? If she got three mil, the streets. I'm not gonna lie. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> How about you, bro? I say when they tell you I only do relationships. That man, this man right here, look like he been in. He's like in every era. Like this man look like he dressed for any era, bro. He look like he dressed for the '80s, the '90s, and the now. My boy. Like he looked like his hair is in the '80s. His his freaking what the hell is that called? Freaking GTA wife beater. <laughs> tank top is from the 90s and then he got the pumas from the 2000s so it's just like everything is just like 80s 90s now <laughs> bitch, that's a straight red flag for me man y'all yeah. know that bitch be throwing that shit around on me on me hold on how about you bro my red flag probably a shitty personality it's like talking shitty personality. Fucking wall. if they all got those traits where do they belong the streets the streets red yeah. flag red flag <laughs> Hey man, Team 101 here in the building, and today I'm here with Gary. KD. Alright, best. So today what I want to know is what are y'all red flags for females? Yo, if she got um white um white paint on her fucking toes, that's a red flag. Oh <laughs> not the toes. How about you, bro? If she has a back tap, bro. For sure a demon. <laughs> she got oh, stamp. Actually, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I've been, I've been with a couple girls with some. Back tats, and he is not lying. He's not lying. He is not lying. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Team one 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 here. I'm here with Dr. Cliff Anderson. Dr. Cliff Anderson. What are your red flags in a woman? I want him to be smart, to be Bareback. capable. Uh, riding the horse. Uh -huh. Giddy up. All right, let me chill out. What are your red flags in a woman? I want them to be smart, to be capable, to be able to do things on their own, to think for themselves. Ha! Huh? So if she can't think for herself and stuff, then that means that it's just, means that's a no-no. She has to be able to handle all her, all the things, and she can, it's useful that she can handle money and read and understand things and comment on public things that are happening in the world, know what's going on in, in, the, in the world. That's right. great. Yeah. That was just the interview with Dr. Cliff Anderson. Thank you so much. Very good. Have I'm a good one. On. Yep. Let's go. Hey. Alright. So that ends today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed that. This is your boy GMB Creates, aka GMB Reacts, and I will see you guys in the next video. Leave like, comment, subscribe, and let me know uh, a reaction request in the comments. If you want to request something, let me know in the comment section down below so I can react to it. Um, 
and you can react to whatever you request to me. If you want to follow me on social media, I am on Instagram at GMB underscore reacts. Yes, sir. Read the comment section, y'all. All right, that ends today's video. Shout out to TMY101. Peace.